Let me now illustrate and explain to you in the clearest way that I can what spiritual enlightenment is. Now, of course, you cannot talk about it and you cannot really illustrate it either. You can only existentially know it, be it, right now. However, there is a way to symbolically show you what it is, what the understanding of it in entails. And so I think I've found the perfect um, medium to show, you, show it to you in. And you will have to bear with me. I know in today's society we are hooked on getting information really, really quick and everything just ha has to happen like that or else we just tend to block out and do something else. So I need you to stick with me until the video is done. And if you, if you don't watch everything, then just, you know, go watch something else and don't comment, don't say anything. So watch the entire thing, because I have to build your understanding until you understand. If you won't give me the time to build your understanding, then you know, then there's nothing I can do. So, imagine now that this black screen is an empty void. There is nothing there. And I mean nothing, not even space. This is spaceless. It is thingless. It is nothingness. It's the absence of absolutely everything, including space. That's what this black screen represents. The only thing that is here is isness. There is an awareness. It's not a thing. It's not someone. It's completely no one and no, nothing. No thing. But it is. This empty spacelessness exists. It is aware. But it's not a thing, so it's simply awareness. Okay. So this is the first point. First pointless point. Nothingness. But since this nothingness actually exists, and it's aware, let us use the mouse pointer as the symbol of it being aware. It can't go anywhere. It's not a self. It's not even a no self. It's just awareness. So I'll just have the mouse pointer right there. Now, somewhere along the lines of its existence, it became aware of itself, even though it has no self. This, talking about this, is riddled with paradoxes and logical faults and logical uh, impossibilities. But somewhere along the line of its existence right now, it 
became aware of the fact that it is aware. And so the mouse pointer symbolizes this. But it's all alone. So if it's there, it's back here. If it goes there, it's back here. It cannot move because there is no things to move relative to. It's just a black nothingness which exists, which is aware. But there's nothing to be aware of, not even itself, because it's pointless. And so, poetically speaking, you could say this awareness, which is nothing, birthed a want or uh, an urge to be aware of something. For example, to know itself. And so, it started to imagine something not things yet it just started imagining this you could call this space spacelessness aware spacelessness mind contentless mind and so it started even though there's no time in this void yet it started to imagine something started to kind of happen <laughs> and so it created in its imagination imaginary space suddenly this pointless spaceless thing imagined in its mind itself a vastness spaciousness and it saved <laughs> it ought to save no. and to symbolize this imaginary spacelessness we have these squares They're completely imaginary. They do not exist because there's only this blackness, spaceless awareness. But using its imagination, it created the illusion, you could say, of space. And suddenly, it could relate from one point to another. This was different from this this was different from this and it imagined that it could move in space even though as you know there's only this there's no movement possible but imaginary movement so this point was not the same as this point seemingly and so on. And now that this spaceless awareness had created the imagination, imaginary space, suddenly there was space to fill, imaginary speaking. And so as time went on, suddenly time existed in a way because there was before this space and after before it was only this blackness still this blackness was all that was is but now we had the imaginary space and so somewhere along the time timeline the awareness created its first thing it imagined its first thing and this cube 
symbolizes the first thing. The thing could not exist before the space that the thing exists in existed. But now that space existed, a thing that could exist in the space could come. And so this spaceless awareness marveled, poetically speaking, at the imaginary experience of a thing in space. This beautiful thing, which of course did not actually exist, still only this void, abyss, was the only thing that existed itself alone. But it didn't care. Now it had this thing, and it had never existed before. Suddenly it could be far away from it. Look at it from all types of angles. Go close to it, go through it, be beneath it, above it. It was the most beautiful thing in existence. In fact, it was the only thing in existence. And so as time moved on, the awareness imagined more things. Another cube in this example. And then it started populating the space with different cubes in this example, different things, imaginations, Now it could move relative to all of these things in space, go through them, experience them, look at them, and great joy followed. <laughs> and more things came, and more things, and more things. And it continued like this to imagine more and more things into itself, inside its own mind because all of this existed in its own mind there was no other minds it was only this one this one existence this one being and so it created more things and more things and more and more and more things and it created more things and as time moved on even more things came suddenly it had created a reality Where it, could go, where it could go and watch and look and be amazed at the seeming reality seeming it really felt like it existed even though it was only in its own mind because still eternal nothingness was the reality nothing had changed it was all illusory. It was all in its mind, but it didn't care. Here it was, in its own beautiful virtual reality. But it was all still ephemeral, fleeting. It could go through the walls, and it didn't quite get the feel that it was real. And so the awareness created a body. And here it was. It had imagined a body so real it could experience its mind-created environment from within the imagination. 
it could physically walk around, push these imaginary things around, and get an effect like if they were real. It marveled. It could throw things, and it looked so real, and it felt so real, all the while, still knowing that black nothingness itself, as it had always been and would always be, still was the only thing that existed, and nothing of the beautiful environment was actually real. None of the objects that seemed to populate this reality were actually separate from itself. It was in fact itself happening inside of its own mind. And time went on and more and more imaginary realities populated the awarenesses mind. It grew. Entire galaxies formed. And somewhere along the lines, humanity evolved on a planet. And each of the beings lived in this environment, in this reality, in these realities and they had forgotten what reality really is they were all mesmerized by the physicalness the realness of their experiences and they thought they all existed and were different and there existed others And then, once in a while, maybe one out of ten million, a human being would stop and start to question, what is this reality? What am I? What is existence, really? They would go around here, but they couldn't be sure, certain that this was all, that this was actually what, what was real. And so they would do anything they could to realize the ultimate truth of the existence they experienced themselves within. And those few who want it enough might go all the way, beyond any belief, beyond any story existing in their mind about what this is. And through the slaughter of beliefs and false ideas, and going all the way within to the core of oneself. A few will realize that all of this, this entire existence, with all its critters and creatures and beings and colors and emotions and sounds, and everything else are all this one empty, unmoving, unborn, undying oneness. This one awareness is what everything is. And their very experience of being a self would evaporate. 
because there could be no self when this abyss is all and there could be no death and there could be no birth there could be no others because this is one and this is all even their bodily edges limits would dissolve and they would feel this enormous spacious expansive vastness to be themselves their selfless self still they would continue inside here in this body suit experiencing this reality but never again being able to believe that these things are actually separate that these things actually exist fundamentally they would know that all of this are just temporary experiences fleeting colors coming and going eternally while themselves would never move, never die. And all of reality would appear within themselves, and this would not be a belief, it would be a physical, you could say, ironically enough, experience of being eternal, having no boundaries no time nothing simply alive aware now forever this is spiritual enlightenment and yes it's possible if you want it more than anything else in the entire existence.